This is a great motorbike backpack, but maybe not necessarily the best bag for everyday carry or work for instance. Stay tuned to find out why. This is the Krieger R20, a backpack specifically designed and optimized for a motorbike rider. As you can see, riding season has begun and I'm about to get on my bike. But before I ride, here's a quick rundown of all the features and specs of the Krieger R20. 20 liters capacity, 1000D Cordura on base and harness, 420D nylon ripstop construction, Krieger's quad lock light harness system, reflective panels on harness, top loading main compartment with YKK water resistant zippers, see-through inner compartment, water bladder compartment that is compatible with optional back protector, quick access compartment in the front. Furthermore, I modded this bag with a bike light, life behind bars Houdini pouch and an action cam mount. This was basically just the boring stuff, the specs that you can see from the website. But let's get to the more important stuff, the positives and the negatives. Because in my opinion, even if a bag or item is good, you need to evaluate if you can live or work around the downsides or the flaws of an item. The major thing that sets this bag apart from a normal backpack is just the ergonomics of this bag whilst riding. The harness system, the shape and the feel of the bag almost let it disappear on your back. You put on the bag, you secure the harness and it feels like the bag is almost gone. Your arms can move freely, nothing drags or flutters in the wind. It feels like riding without the bag on your back. And that is of course a huge benefit when riding in terms of comfort and more importantly safety. The harness system is highly adjustable and the back panel is curved to better align to your riding position. All strap ends, either on the shoulder straps or the compression straps, can be secured via these clips. Although this is a good idea, I'm not sure how good these will hold the strap ends on a longer tour with lots of wind. The material is weatherproof and all zippers are Stormguard zippers, but there are actually only two. One for the small quick access compartment in the front and one for the main compartment. Inside the main compartment you just can find one small see-through compartment and a place for a hydration bladder. And that's basically it. And that's also the reason why I don't think that this is a good regular everyday carry backpack or office bag for that matter. Although this is a 20 liter backpack, uh, due to its shape and curved back, you just can't fit lots of stuff into it. Okay, to be fair, you can fit a lot of stuff into the bag. But loading the bag, organizing your stuff and just fitting stuff into it is just not as comfortable compared to normal backpacks. Especially square and hard items like your laptop or books will seem out of place due to the shape of the bag and the curved back. The harness system feels great, but the front buckle is not a one-handed operation. You need two hands to close the buckle. And if you already have the helmet on and can't really see what you're doing, this can get very fiddly. To me personally, the Velomachi harness system is superior in that regard. Check out the review in the info tab above. This bag is clearly designed with the rider in mind. And I know it does sound a little bit harsh to say that this bag is not good for everyday carry or for the office for instance. But this bag is clearly not intended to be this kind of bag. This bag is designed for the ride. So to bring some clothing, food and water for a longer trip. Maybe a camera, but not necessarily your computer or your office stuff. Of course you can fit all those stuff into the bag but there are clearly other bags that are more suited for the office or for work for instance. So this is the bag that you take on your ride and basically forget that it is on your back. Furthermore, keep in mind that a laptop or a hard metal thing in your backpack while you're riding might be a safety hazard. So it's probably a good thing that you can fit a laptop inside the backpack. So if you're looking for a great backpack to take along while you're riding your motorbike and you don't pack that much 
big items or lots of items, then I can highly recommend the Krieger R20. And I know that a couple of you will ask, how does this compare to the Velomachi Rolltop Backpack? The R20 is actually more comfortable to carry while you're riding due to the curved back panel. But if you're looking for a little bit more space and the option to carry a laptop, then you should take a look at the Velomachi Rolltop Backpack. But check the description below for the detailed scores of the Krieger R20. And like always, if you have any more questions, please comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss the next videos. Thanks.